A lot of the conversation today revolves around tax expenditures. And one of the things that um, really bothers conservatives is simply the name tax expenditures. And it's the notion that tax revenues somehow belong to the government as opposed to the taxpayers or our citizens who are earning their own income. This is a fundamental concern uh, of conservatives. And um, so in that vein, uh, I do believe that we need to have a fundamental overhaul of our tax system, including looking at those kinds of issues. I'll say tax expenditures, even though conservatives hate that word. Um, but I think it needs to be done not uh, less from a bookkeeping sense, which I think both Bull Simpson and the Rivlin Domenici Commission uh, kind of went about it, but also more from a tax policy perspective. Um, one, I'm just going to take one of the tax expenditures, and that is the health care exclusion. Um, I think that this is, you know, as you all know, it's one of the largest, um, but it's also one of the um, most pervasive and distorting tax policies that we have um, that also has a direct distortionary effect on our health care market. Um, and there wasn't large discussion of either of the uh, proposal, the deficit proposals, uh, on just how transforming that one policy alone could be um, on our health care market. It could deliver better services and allow much more affordable and portable health care for all Americans, including middle class and lower income workers. And I think this would be a very, very fundamental, important step that I would like to see. So am I out of time now? Oh, I hate that. Um, I, let me just close with this thought. And that is that um, I have been, uh, I've done a lot of traveling around the country with Bell Sawhill uh, and others who are in the audience today on the fiscal wake up tour. Um, and one of the things that uh, I'd like to share with you in my experience is that notion that when you present the facts to Americans, that all of them understand that we do need to change our fiscal policy, including older Americans, uh, and that they understand that we need to do something to improve the outlook of our future.